Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week I want to show you something new that's available on the RAV website. These are mallets intended for the RAV Vast and the RAV Vast 2, not the RAV Pan. Um, and they come in a variety of thicknesses and with different tops. So I'm going to show you what they sound like compared together with what it sounds like with my finger. Um, these are really good if you're looking to give your hands a break while you're busking. They're great for more meditative, slower playing and they tend to isolate the harmonics and the note in a different way than your fingers. Uh, so it's less of a percussive sound and more of a pure, almost bell-like sound. So I'm going to play you something again with my fingers and we're going to compare these as well. Let's take a look. So these mallets come in a nice carrying case and this is a very hard plastic outer shell. And it comes with three sets. Two of them have a yellow rubber top to them, and these produce a very different sound than the red ones, and the red ones produce a different sound than the black slash gray ones. Uh, each of these will have different advantages. You might want to use each of these in a different situation, um, but I'm going to play you a piece now just with my fingers, and I'm going to play that same exact piece with the mallets. So let's take a look at that. This is going up and down the scale on the B Celtic with my fingers. This is going up and down with the black felt mallets. This is with the red mounts. And finally, here's with the yellow mounts. This is the same sample played with the black felt tops. This is with the red felt tops that are a little bit harder. This is played with the yellow rubber tops. So in terms of tone, the yellow mallets have a closer sound to your fingers. Um, there's a little bit more of the percussive sound. The red mallets are a little bit less of the sound of the actual strike and more of the tongue. And the black ones are almost 100% the sound of the note itself with no percussive quality. Now, these would be an excellent choice for people who want to work with this instrument, but are having issues with arthritis, people who just want to vary the tonality of their playing, uh, and just people who are looking to explore new sounds on the instrument, because there, there are all sorts of tones that are available on this. Uh, so these are just another way to begin to investigate 
and explore what the wrap has available to you. So if you guys have a chance, I would definitely recommend checking out the mounts that are available. I wouldn't recommend these for people on the RAV PAM. Um, you know, people who have a little more experience may choose otherwise, but typically these can bring a pan out of tune. Um, the RAV Vast and the RAV S2, you don't really have to worry about them coming out of tune with striking them, but you obviously want to be mindful in how you're hitting even the RAV drum. So, thank you for watching this week's blog. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so we know that this was useful to you. And the question for this week is, if you could change the shape of the RAV, what shape would you want it? Would you want a smaller version of it? Uh, would you want a larger one with more notes? What would best suit you shape-wise? Hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you.